Responsibility. It is I'm going to get nothing. 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 It is Power up. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no. I you
If an object isn't working out for you, it can be easily recycled back into the Imagisphere. Select it and press the delete button to get rid. Just don't use it on the furniture, especially if you're sitting on it at the time. Oh, the bruises. Nicely, nicely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> Once you've selected something with the... If you want, similarly, you use the back shuffle button. I find these things quite uplifting, you know. <laughs> Disaster! Stuck in a lift! You know how to fix it, right? Think this is all too easy for a budding genius like you. Open your poppet and find your goodies bag. Inside, there's a ball. Select the ball with the action button and then use the left stick to move it around. Once you're replete with satisfaction at its positioning, tap the action button to place the ball. Shockingly good! Have you done this before?
To see yourself first, now to place your material. You know that saying, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Don't forget. Uh, hang on, it's gone. Uh, oh, yes. Don't forget you can rotate the shape and alter its size with the right stick.
After you've selected a shape, you can you just hop. Why don't you try it out on the material up ahead? Fancy a race? <laughs> Let's pit your newfound skills against the clock.
When you visit Little Big Planet, you become your true and pure self, a cuddly, excitable adventurer called a sack person. And this is you. What a cracker! Use the left stick to move your sack person. A little tippy-tappy for a shuffle and a somewhat more substantial push for a bound. Take a run and jump, why don't you? You do it by pressing the action button. A quick tap for hippity hop and a lock. Transporting oneself from the earthly plateau to the realm of little big planet is akin to being born again. You emerge here a bundle of naked woolly innocence. The operative word being naked. Put some clothes on that say, I mean business, buster. Get some gadabout trousers or an adventurer's hat, for example. To do so, bring up your poppet with the menu button and select the Customize Character option. From there, you can peruse its contents with the left stick and don your chosen attire with the action button. Once you are suitably suited and booted, having raided your boutique, a press of the back button shows off your new togs to your peers. If you live by the sea, that is. noticed that sack personages, as they gird about the Imagosphere, all wear a poker face because they're concentrating on the task in hand. Well, it doesn't have to be like that all the time, you know. 
You can change your expressions using the directional buttons. It's easy. Press up to show us your winning smile. Down brings out a frown. Right brings out your cross face, whilst left makes you look scared. You can nod and shake your head by waving your controller around and even switch the control of your hips by clicking the left stick. Get a wiggle on, why don't you? As if that wasn't enough, try pressing the limb buttons and using the left stick and right stick. Look, you're waving. Yes, very good. I'm waving back. Really, I am. Honest. It, it's, it's, it's embarrassing now. Stop it. Now, I know you're eager to get stuck into all this, but please remember the ethos of the Imagisphere. Create and share, and above all, have fun. And you know, there's room for more than one you in the word fun. In fact, the plural of you, when written down, looks like us. So the more us in fun makes fun go further. Fun. Yes, 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 yes. Thanks for that, old man. I'll take it from here. Oh, what luck! There's my little chum-to-be, ready to come and help me sort out Funko. Just a simple press of this button, and our adventure will begin. Ah, oh, no. So, the one on the left... No, but if, if I'm facing it, then that would be... Oh, no. That's the one! It worked! You're here! Sorry for the rough ride, old chap. My name's Newton. Welcome to Bumpum Chummy Chum Chum, where the sky is strewn with circling clouds of imagination, all ceaselessly pumped into Bunkum's atmosphere by the pounding creative heart at its core, a magnificent moon of wonder. But, I'm afraid, Bunkum's destiny lies in our hands. Let me explain. Long ago, before the Negativitron nearly laid waste a craft world, three gluttonous gargoyles gorged on Bunkum's bountiful creativity. Inspiration dried up. We teetered on the brink of the abyss. And then, three heroes came. With their speed, with their power, with their grace. They finally managed to capture the Titans. With Bunker restored to the creative paradise you see around you, the heroes retire to the pages of myth. A myth that also foretells of the return 
of the Titans. Tonight, just before bedtime, all of Buncombe's nightmares become real. And that's where I, I mean, we come in. Join me, my noble assistant. Buncombe's very future depends on we two brave heroes. Let's get down off this mountain. I've got a prezi for you. Oh, how I love the mountain air. It's just so... airy. Press up and down on the left stick to move in and out of the screen. Hold down on the left stick and press the action button to jump down a step. If you jump in front of a step, you'll automatically shift backwards onto it. Did I ever tell you about the time I got stuck in a hat? I did? Well, it's a true story and still relevant today, as the danger of getting stuck in Little Big Planet is as real as it ever was. If you find yourself in an impassable crevice or an insurmountable rut, your poppet holds the key to your salvation. Open it with your menu button and highlight the retry option using your left stick. Then simply hold the action button until your little stitched chum pops himself senseless. Don't worry, he'll be back in a jiffy, spat out of that last checkpoint you ran past. Good as new. Did I ever tell you about the time I got stuck in a hat? I did? Well, it's a true story and still relevant today, as the danger of getting stuck in Little Big Planet is as real as it ever was. If you find yourself in an impassable crevice or an insurmountable rut, your poppet holds the key to your salvation. Open it with your menu. Layer launchers spring you from front to back and back to front. Give it a shot. That's it. Bounce in and out like a, like a, um, uh, uh, bouncing in and out thing. Excellent work. Your bounding knows no bounds. Use the action button to trigger blue layer launchers. Use the grab button to climb along a climbable surface. You could still jump while you're climbing. Just press the action button.
wonderful work. I knew you could do it. spongy bits and the left stick to drag them about. <laughs> Tap the action button while dragging or pushing to give yourself a little oomph. and use the left stick to swing across. Jolly useful, eh? Retire to my airship to prepare for your, uh, I mean, our death defying mission. to my airborne laboratory. My father made it, of course, but I made some refinements of my own. Look at us, co-conspirators, primed for our first top secret mission briefing. Here, take this sticker. is our first target, a loathsome locale called Stitcher Manor. Stick it up on the mission board. 
In the real world, slapping stickers on anything and everything is frowned upon. Rightly so. Have you ever tried Within those a walls sticker off a looks cat? a cranky old bag named Nana Pud. Put her face up there if you can stomach it. Gruesome. But we must brave her horrors and make our way up onto the roof. One last sticker. Place it down there. That is our true goal. The tin that houses the evil titans. We must reach it before Nana Pud releases them. The old bag. Fortunately, I've handcrafted something for just this occasion. Going down. Imagination made mechanical. Handheld inspiration. It sucks. It blows. It is the Pumpinator. This was working yesterday. Now, just pick it up and I can show you how useful it is. You can't have too many pockets. This is precisely why I want to introduce you to the all-new sack pocket. Press the back button to bring up the sack pocket. Use your left stick to highlight the particular thing you wish to pull out of the sack pocket, then press the action button to select it. See how it's now in your hands? That's Pocktech for you. How anyone got by before pockets is beyond me. Amazing device. Oh, if only Daddy were here to witness it. You can aim it in different directions using the right stick. Point it at that pinwheel and press the R1 button to blow it into motion. Now try giving those boxes a blow. The pumpinator is badly marvelous, isn't it? Scholars of the Omniverse have forever debated what the most satisfying feelings in existence are. They used to say batting a hot boiled egg with a willow cricket bat was the nicest. Then Little Big Planet came along and they said placing a sticker down was the best. Doubly so if it's a sticker you've made yourself. 
To begin, open your poppet with the menu button and highlight stickers and decorations with the left stick. Press the action button and find one of these lovely PlayStation camera stickers. Once you spot one you like, press the action button again. Now you can move it around with the left stick and spin it or make it bigger or smaller with the right stick. Place it down with a satisfying tap of the action button. Most gratifying. The scholars of the Omniverse have forever debated what... Hurry up, dear chum! Nana Pud won't wait if we dilly-dally! See, at times two like that, it means you need to bring a friend. Actually, you can bring up to three friends if you like. The more, the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> 